Hi, this is Adam from Make a Maker Channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you the time slot that I made this Trump caricature figurine, along with the explanation on some of the tools that I mostly use throughout the process. In general, we are not going into detail as this is a speed sculpt model and the techniques are pretty straightforward. So we are only focus on the facial sculpting process. Okay, let's get on with it. As usual, after forming the basic layout of the face figure with a sphere, we will start to adding volume with clay build up brush to form the basic muscle group on different region. You can check the reference image if you're not familiar with the muscle group. Start to work on whichever facial feature that you're familiar with. For me, I prefer the nose as it is one of the bigger and more complex features on the face and most of the other feature muscles are formed around this structure. Just like a benchmark thing. So if you get this right, the rest of the feature will definitely will not go wrong. Start with the eyes. I mask and pull out a small portion around the eye socket area with the move brush and use the damp standard brush to define and rough out the eye position and adding wrinkles and secondary detail around the eye area. Now the mouth. It's one of the difficult areas to scout in my opinion, and it is one of the subtle but very expressive features. You can easily screw up the mouth if you did not study your subject enough. Usually it will took me some time to refine and get the mouth structure to look right. But not in this case, as Trump have a very prominent and distinctive mouth structure. After defining the mouth, I'm adding some volume around it to form the saggy muscle. You can look for his side profile photo as a reference. Defining the secondary area like the chin, the cheek, and the eyebrows. Roughly draft out the inner structure of the mouth. No need to be very detailed, as I will replace it with a proper detailed teeth model later on. In this stage, I'm checking the reference image back and forth to lock down all those signature feature likeness. Just a few more tricks around the eyebrows area. At this point, I think I locked down the facial feature characteristic around 70%. The rest is just pushing and pulling the feature to match the proportion and to achieve the likeness. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of Trump, but I must admit, he really is a great subject for this over-exaggerated expression caricature figurine. One of the reasons why I like to do digital sculpting is that it allows you to do 3D modeling very naturally with your stylus. Hence the name digital sculpting instead of modeling. You can interact with your model effortlessly just like playing with traditional clay instead of using your mouse to click on millions of vertices, lines and polygons. It's also one of the main reasons why so many traditional artists from field like 2D illustration, manga artists, or even traditional sculptors starting to adopt this digital method to their professional work. You generate the model by using digital stylus instead of mouse. This makes the whole process felt so natural and just like drawing on paper or playing traditional clay with your bare hand. And now, one of the fun part of the whole sculpting process is hair. Believe it or not, his signature hairstyle is one of the easier elements to sculpt compared to the rest of the facial figure. Simply by appending two sphere and deform the shape, and you are 70% done. The rest is just laying secondary detail like the hair stroke with damp standard brush and the red brush. After laying the second piece of the hair, we start with the hair stroke. I'm not planning to print this in a very large scale, so don't need too much detail on the hair. Hair 
Here, I place and overlap the teeth model on the mouth rough out area that I mentioned earlier. Slightly deepen the oral cavity so that the teeth can fit better inside. Create a tongue with a sphere. Believe me, this tongue plays a large role whether you are able to recognize him or not. Now, back to the eyes. I mask and pull in the initial eye area so that I can add in a sphere as his eyeball. This helps to make the structure around the eye feel more natural. Oh by the way, in case you are wondering what tools that I use to do this digital sculpting, the software you can see that I'm using Zebra's 2018 version. And no, I haven't upgraded to the 2020 version at the moment, but might really consider to do so in the near future. As for the tablet, I'm using the old last gen Welcome India's tablet. It has been my workhorse for the last 8 years, and it's really served me quite well. Like what they say, the art is limited by the artist and not by their tools. And yes, you don't need the latest and greatest tablet like Wacom Cintiq to do the stuff I did. By the way, sorry that I'm not able to record the whole body making session, as my screen recording software crashed on me right after I finished the head area. Anyways, I will be selecting some other character and make another video, this time with the whole body making session. Okay, here's the complete caricature figurine with the rest of the body. Hope you like this video and subscribe to see more. See ya! Hi! This is Adam from Make and Maker channel. Welcome to this episode. <laughs> blah 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 blah. Cut. Look, I'm a little bit.